So you see it everywhere on YouTube, make a million dollars a year, make a hundred grand a month or whatever it is. Even I'm guilty of it. You know, I'm, I'm making videos where I'm making like ten, twenty thousand dollars a month or whatever it is. However, for a lot of people, that's just not very realistic. Some people just want to make an extra five hundred dollars, thousand dollars a month, maybe alongside their current salary or whatever it is, alongside their day job. So I wanted to cover some side hustles that are actually realistic and can help you make an extra five hundred, maybe a thousand dollars a month. Before we get into it, please subscribe subscribe to my newsletter if you haven't already. I share links to interesting things, experiences, stories, just anything I find interesting. I share it once a month. Make sure to check it out. I've split this video into two different categories of side hustles, digital and online sort of related stuff, stuff that you can do from home on the computer or whatever. And then the more traditional category, things that actually require you to go outside. First up, we have online teaching and tutoring, and this has gained tremendous popularity in recent years, and the potential to earn substantial income is real. One of the big advantages of online teaching and tutoring is that you're not limited to your immediate location. A tutor in Boston can easily teach a student in London. Because of this global reach, it now ensures that your pool of potential students is endless. With more than 7 billion people in this world, you are bound to have a group of people who are willing to pay for your expertise in a particular subject or field. There are a number of different accreditations available, such as TEFL, which can help you stand out from the crowd. You can find tutors and teachers across all different subjects and disciplines, from the mainstream academic subjects like maths and science to more niche stuff like maybe digital photography, UI design. Yeah, there are just so many different things that you can teach online. There are many different platforms that you can use to find clients and offer your expertise. In the US, there are websites such as Varsity Tutors and Tutor.com. And for people in the UK, you have options like Tutorful and My Tutor. You can even sell your services on websites like Udemy. All you need is a proficiency in a particular subject and you can start tutoring. Another thing which I always say to other people is that if you feel like you're a beginner in learning something, you're actually the perfect person to teach another beginner. Because sometimes when someone knows a lot about a subject, it's hard for them to go back to the basics and understand the basics and teach someone who's just learning. So if you're a beginner, don't worry about imposter syndrome. The best person for you to teach is someone who's only a few steps behind you. The great thing is you can also set your own rates and schedule. Rates often range from $20 to $100 per hour and because of the flexibility you can fit it into your schedule as you please. As well as being a good option from a monetary standpoint it can also just be incredibly rewarding teaching someone something that could potentially change their life and make it better. I think to myself what I could personally teach someone the sort of skill sets that I have and the ones that I have off the top of my head are UI design I could teach people how to design apps and stuff like that website creation, how to make websites, depending on their expertise levels, videography and video editing. Of course, I have a lot of experience in that field. I do it for my YouTube channels and then photography. I love photography. I do it in my free time and I also do it commercially for brands. Those are just a few of the skills that I have, but a lot of people have a lot of skills that they don't realize. So there's lots of different ways to make money here. As long as you have some sort of skill, it could be quite basic. You don't have to be super smart or anything. You can teach another person that skill and make money from it. Next up is one for all of my creative friends out there. So if you have any sort of skill in video editing, this is the perfect option for you. I've mentioned it before on the channel and that's short form content, making short form content out of basically anything and everything. You don't even need to be the best at it. You just need to be able to turn people's long form content into something more digestible. Companies and other creatives are always looking for solutions to grow their audience. And in the current landscape, short form content like TikToks and Instagram Reels are some of the best ways to do it. And you will notice that a lot of people are actually looking for this service. They're already so busy with their work, running their business or whatever it might be, that if someone came along and made their lives easier, then they would most likely be happy to pay for that service. A way to monetize this could be to create some short form content for maybe some YouTubers, send it to them as an example of the work that you can do. And if they like it, you can then offer your services going forward. But what's important here is that you're making shorts that actually look good because anyone can make shorts. But the whole point is that you have some sort of skill, you know what looks good, you know what sort of shorts can do well, and then offering that to a big creator offering those services and being able to show that, hey, look, I can make a reels better than anyone else. 
Yeah, that's a good way to get their attention. Platforms such as Fiverr and Freelancer.com are also good options where you can list your skills, where you can list yourself and hopefully get some clients that way too. Heck, you could even take it a step further and use AI to create the shorts for you. All you need to do is to provide the AI platform with the long form content, do a few tweaks here and there and send it back to the client in a nicely packaged format. You could easily charge $500 to $1,000 a month doing this. It totally depends on the quality of your work and your output. I'm actually currently already paying a couple of shorts editors $500 a month to make shorts for my channels. So I know that for someone like me, it's just such a big time saver and it's definitely going to be a big time saver for a lot of other creators out there. Now, you're probably thinking, Olia, I can't just learn how to edit video. Well, that's where Filmora comes in. It's about to make your life a lot easier and it's recently had a huge update to Filmora 13, adding a bunch of new features and AI tools. Filmora is a video editing software that is easy to use and packed with features. It's perfect for creating amazingly crafted and professional looking videos without having to learn complex video editing software. You can start off your video with with the AI text to video tool. Simply type in your script and AI text to video will automatically generate a video for you. It's literally creating a video from scratch. Next, you'll need some music. You can use Filmora's AI music generator, which adds royalty free music that's tailored to your video. Just select the mood and genre you want and you have just saved yourself hours needing to look for the right royalty free music. Next, it's time to use the AI Copilot, the personal smart assistant that helps you edit your videos faster and more efficiently. It can automatically analyze your footage and suggest edits such as trimming clips, adding transitions and adjusting colors. Finally, depending on the platform your video may live on, you might need a thumbnail. The AI thumbnail editor can help you create eye-catching thumbnails for your videos in seconds. Just upload your video and AI thumbnail editor will automatically generate a variety of thumbnails for you to choose from. With Filmora 13, you have the creative freedom and ease to make stunning videos for YouTube, TikTok and beyond. It's perfect for beginners, but also has advanced tools for pros. No more complex editing software. With just a few clicks, you can create amazing content. So make sure to check out Filmora. I'll leave a link to it down in the description below. Discord and forum moderation. So for those of you who are part of an online community, this could be a great option for you. Whether you're a gamer or a sports fan or just some sort of diehard fan of something, you are most likely able to find some sort of engaging communities online whether it be on Discord or on some forum websites. For example, I'm a big Apex Legends player and Overwatch player. I'm part of both of those communities on Discord. And of course, there's lots of moderators on there making sure that those Discords run smoothly. If you're a person who really enjoys being part of those communities, it only really makes sense to maybe go to whoever owns the Discord server or community or forum or whatever it might be and be like, hey, I'd like to help you manage this Discord server or this forum, wherever it might be for a fee every month so you don't have to worry about it too much and it's a great way just to do it maybe at times where they can't do it where maybe they're offline and they need someone to manage their service for them rates can of course vary but generally you're looking at around 10 to 20 dollars per hour and i know that in the crypto space for instance some discord servers are paying their moderators over three thousand dollars per month responsibilities usually include enforcing community rules blocking spam keeping the community engaged and providing a safe space for members next Next up is social media management and this is another great one for anyone who's in the creative space and just loves social media. So if you can take out the thought process of having to manage social media accounts and do content rollouts, then people and businesses will most certainly pay you for that. The great thing with this method is that it is very scalable. You could just start off managing an Instagram account for maybe one local business and then over time you could do other parts of the business and then you can get other clients doing their stuff as well. It can really scale quite easily. Some social media managers can make upwards of $5,000 per month. But then of course, if you do that, you're making a full-time job. And as long as you keep it small, I wouldn't be surprised if you could make maybe $500 to $1,000 a month just managing social media profiles for creators, for businesses, and just anyone else who has social media that they use to basically promote their business. The services that you offer can really range from posting daily for these businesses all the way to actually creating content for them and doing some of their strategy. It really just depends on your skills and how much time you can offer and what exactly that particular business is looking for. I think what's most important about this one and the way you market it to a potential client is that you tell them, look, I will manage your Instagram profile for you. I will save this many hours, this much time, and I've also done it before, if you have experience that is, I've also done it before for other businesses, this is what I can do. The idea of them saving time and growing their profile without having to do anything themselves 
that is the way you market that idea that is the way you make money that also leads us well into a virtual assistants which very much do a similar sort of thing with a lot of businesses now moving away from physical office locations the demand for virtual assistants has really skyrocketed virtual assistants provide administrative and other assistance to clients completely remotely Tasks can range from scheduling appointments and managing emails to creating presentations and managing social media accounts, like I mentioned earlier. Sites like Zirtual and Fancy Hands in the US or Vertalent and Moneypenny in the UK help connect assistance to clients and the average pay is around $15 to $50 per hour. If you have a few free hours in a day and are able to manage different things at once, that this could be ideal for you. The great benefit of this is that you could manage multiple clients at once and do it from the comfort of your own home. Next up, we have transcribing audio. And transcribing audio is the process of basically just taking audio files and then converting them into text. Many businesses, researchers, journalists, podcasts, and individuals need audio content transcribed, but they just don't have the time to do it themselves. This creates consistent demand for audio transcribers. You also don't need specialized training or equipment. The main requirements are having strong listening skills, fast and accurate typing, and the proficiency, of course, in grammar to transcribe clearly. To be fair, you could even just use an AI platform to do the transcribing for you, and no one would really know the difference, as long as, of course, you check the work to make sure that it's accurate. Rev is a platform that's popular worldwide, and there's also TakeNote, which is a UK-based service, which offers tons of opportunities for transcribers. Depending on the complexity, you can earn around $1 per audio minute. I actually pay someone to do exactly this for my YouTube videos. I have someone make all of the subtitles for all of my YouTube videos and I pay them to make those subtitles because obviously I don't really have time to type out every single word that I said because some of the things that I say like this are just off the cuff. I'm not reading a script or anything like that. So yeah, I actually need someone there to write that out for me so that you guys who maybe can't hear the video, who aren't listening to audio, can actually read what is on screen. Now onto category two, where we're covering more offline methods, more traditional methods of making a bit of extra money. Equipment rental. It's not uncommon to have things sitting empty, not used, gathering dust, be that a camera that you took on a family trip last year or something, or a ladder that you only use every so often. These are just sitting there, not really being used. Why not rent it out? Websites like Fat Llama, which is popular in the US and the UK, and ShareGrid allow you to list the items that you have and then other people can actually rent them from you. This could range from camera and lighting equipment all the way to vacuum cleaners and lawnmowers. The main benefit to all of these platforms is that the customer, the person who's renting your stuff, then doesn't have to spend thousands of dollars, whatever it is, to, to buy that particular piece of equipment when they could rent it for a tenth of the cost. These platforms also offer insurance coverage so that you don't have to worry about any of your stuff getting stolen or damaged. Depending on the item's value and the demand for it, this can actually be a great way to earn some extra income. A good example of this is actually my video producer, my video producer who works for me. He started out by putting one camera and a lens on Fat Armor, which is one of UK's biggest equipment rental websites. What started for him as a little thing where he was just renting out his camera has now turned into a full-blown business and has actually allowed him to quit his full-time job in finance. It also helped supplement his income when he started his journey in becoming a freelance creator. They actually used to have a leaderboard on Fat Llama and you can see how much people were making. Some people were making over $6,000 per month. So yeah, these sorts of websites, these sort of rental websites where you can rent out things that you already have valuable that are sitting around not being used, this is a great way to make some extra income each month. Another service that some people might have heard of is Turo where you can rent out your car. So maybe you have a car or maybe you work from home mostly and you don't really use your car much. You can actually rent out your car on an app like Turo. Maybe you just have a car that's not being used that you don't drive all the time. Renting that thing out and having it basically pay for itself is such a great way to make some extra money. Parking space rental. So this is actually becoming really popular nowadays and it's something that I've even used myself in the past. As I'm sure a lot of you who live in densely populated cities know that finding good parking is not easy whatsoever. It's also just really expensive, especially in somewhere like London where you could be paying 10 pounds an hour just to park somewhere, which is just outrageous. Since there are a lot of people in a place like London where maybe they have a house or apartment, they have a parking spot, but they don't have a car because they don't need one, they commute everywhere. This is a great way for them to then rent out their parking spot to someone else who might need it. The best platforms I found for this are Just Park in the UK and Spot Hero in the US. They allow you to post some photos, list a description of the parking spot and the platform will do the rest. It's basically like Airbnb, 
but for parking spots. Depending on the location, some spots can be an absolute gold mine, especially during events or peak times. And this is where I actually use it. So sometimes when I wanna go watch Arsenal at the Emirates, parking for a place like that can be an absolute ball ache. So I'll use a service like this to find parking nearby, to find a parking spot, a bay or whatever, and I'll park there for that time where I'm going to watch the match. And for something like that, I'm usually paying around 10 or 20 pounds for only a couple of hours. You can of course set your own rates on these platforms and charge per hour or per day, depending on what you prefer. You may even find that someone might work close by to you. Maybe their office is near to where you live, where you have your parking spot, and they end up just renting your spot on a regular basis. Maybe you could work out some deal with them to then make a bit of extra money by doing that. And that is it. Some ways to make an extra 500 to a thousand dollars a month. I wanted to make them realistic things that most people can either learn to do or just most people can do already. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and subscribe for more.